there. So um, the book I want to review or show you today is this one and it's how to draw and paint fairyland a step-by-step -step guide to creating the world of fairies and uh, showing you the cover there and it's by linda ravenscroft she's a have you never heard of her i'm sure you must have if you're into fairies you'll have heard of linda she creates absolutely fantastic bits of art and you can just see that there by the by the front cover there we go. So what I quite liked about this one is it didn't actually give you a um, a step-by-step -step guide, as it were, at, to, to how to draw fairies. But what it did is it gave you kind of some inspiration so you could kind of, you know, go away and do your own. I mean, the book is lovely. It's absolutely full of her artwork, which I think you'll agree is absolutely, absolutely stunning. Um, but what she does is she kind of gives you different components that, so that you can make scenes and things yourself to copy. Um, so, for example, um, the absolutely beautiful artwork, absolutely amazing, amazing. So, I mean, you can kind of, she talks about inventing fairyland and she talks about, um, using different techniques to create a background so um you know to create a mottled effect and everything it's not a step by step it just shows you with a little bit of description there um, about how to go about that and then she gives you some ideas of what to um what to include in the you know in the scenes or pebbles there um I love that. I absolutely adore. I look at that castle in the sky and you know, how to do that. Um, I got this book out from the library and I so want to buy it. I so want to buy it. It's fabulous. It's twelve ninety nine. It's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Um, some great inspiration there. And you know, if you're thinking about, you know, how to put something together, she's got it all there. I mean, she's got the the seasons there and what things to put in your scenery at the different times of the year um absolutely absolutely fabulous 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 i can't i keep saying fabulous i know talking about color work there I and mean, we all sort of know the color wheel um but it's very very rarely in books i find these days i think they kind of take it for granted um but she talks about keeping a sketchbook I mean, look at those trolls they're absolutely amazing absolutely amazing so if you like fairies I would get this book just purely for the cover uh, the cover and the illustrations in it alone because I was just blown away blown away absolutely fabulous and I don't really know what else to say other than, abs other than absolutely absolutely amazing artwork absolutely brilliant and I'm showing you loads of it here just because, as you, you know, when you're buying stuff off, off the net, you really can't get a feel of what what, what books look like. And I think that's so important. Um, but yeah, absolutely fabulous. As I say, I really want to own this. It's a library book. I really want to own this. It's by Search Press. Um, and just I just love it absolutely gorgeous just love it and i can't i can't rave about this one highly enough so i'm gonna have to put this on my wish list and have to buy it for myself um but a bit of inspiration there so yeah i i love it and i'm just gonna shut up now because i'm just rambling on about just how brilliant it is and not actually saying anything constructive so there we go